Trayvon, what has the last month of this pre-draft process been like for you in the midst of the pandemic? Uh, it's been it's been a, a tremendous experience. Like I'm extremely grateful. Um, it's just been a lot different, you know. That you know what we have going on in the world today. It's just you know you gotta. It's just a little adverse, you know. You just gotta get around it and you know work around it, move around it, just take the best out of the situation that we have, you know. So you know it's been a, a, a different experience, but it's been fun. It's been long. It's been a long process, but you know it's finally coming to an end, and you know all your hard work and everything is finally going to you know pay off. Can you kind of take me through the process, how you've been speaking with teams and what that's been like? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it wouldn't say it's been hectic. It's just, you know, you just talk to teams. I probably talked to about uh, 15 teams, um, you know, FaceTimes and, you know, Zoom calls and stuff like that. Uh, it's been fun, though, you know, just getting to know the coaches and talking to the coaches. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a funny experience when you see them on TV and you see them at the combine and you're finally, like, talking to them, you know, so it's just fun. It's been a good experience and I enjoyed it. Now, where are you going to be watching the draft and who's going to be with you? Mm -hmm. Uh, just my immediate family, um, you know, the same people that was here for me, you know, when I first started, my mom, my brothers, my sister, um, you know, just I'm going to hang out with them and, you know, just share this moment with them. You know, I owe it to them, all the you know hard work they put behind me, me being the youngest of my family, me being the baby, you know, they all had to take care of me. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun moment. Including your older brother, uh, Stefan Diggs, mm -hmm. who a lot of people know. Now, he was taken late to buy the Vikings. He was actually taken yeah. in the fifth round by the Vikings uh, back in 2015. Uh, what sort of advice has he given you about draft week? Um, I wouldn't say he's given me really any advice about draft because it's like kind of a different situation because you don't know who's mm -hmm. going to pick you. You don't know who's going to grab you. You know, he, he told me that's really the least expected team that you think is going to pick you. So, you know, um, it's just been different. It's just like a feeling that, you know, I can't really explain because you have to be in my shoes to ex understand it. So, you know, it's like different. It's like a whole lot of just a lot of built up, like just everything, everything that you went through, just all built up. And, you know, you just it's hard to sleep at night. I mean, oh, but you, it's fun. I, it's fun. I bet because your whole future mm -hmm. is going to be unfolding before your eyes in a couple of days. Yes. I know uh, at least Peter King, for one, said potentially you could uh, fall to the Bills. What would that be like playing on the same team with your brother? <laughs> uh, it would be fun. Um, you know, I play with him or, you know, I play against him. Either uh, one. <laughs> All right. And the <laughs> first time you had to line up against him, what that conversation, what's that going to be like? First time you go up against him. I'm I'm gonna try to dominate him. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to play. I'm just trying to dominate. Him. That's it. Cause he's gonna try to dominate me too. He's not gonna take it light on me, especially me being his little brother. He's just gonna be like, you know, I have to dominate you. He he calls it the big brother syndrome. He thinks he can beat me at everything, but I'm gonna show him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The uh, brotherly family rivalry <laughs> playing out on the big stage. Yes. Now you had to guard a couple of amazing talents there um, mm -hmm. in Tuscaloosa that we're going to see mm -hmm. go very early in this draft. Jerry Judy or Henry Ruggs, mm -hmm. who's the toughest? I can't say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I they that. both good receivers. They both good receivers. Um, they both have their own tools, and you know you could use your tools. So it's like whatever, whatever fits your offense and what you want. But they both are ballers, and they both can do it. So it's hard to pick. And you had to face and and, and go against Tua Tagovailoa on the other side in mm -hmm. practice. What's the one thing that you think people should know about him and consider when they're drafting him? Uh, he's a true competitor. Um, like, he might not show it with, you know, his emotions and stuff like that because he's a calm person, you know, just a friendly person. But I've been in the locker room with him. I know he has that dog mentality. You know, he's a baller. He's a competitor. And, you know, he can make all the throws. And if you want to win and you want to worry out of quarterback, that's your guy for sure. All right. Well said. Um, listen, congratulations to your family. I mean, two kids in the, in the NFL, that, that's just incredible. And uh, we you. hope you guys stay safe and good luck this week. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.